guys, this is Ann from DuctTapeAndDenim.com and we are painting more rolling pins today. I've been collecting some more rolling pins from thrift stores and I think some came from garage sales. I painted some back before Christmas and I painted them red and green. Just the handles. I'm just painting the handles. I'm not painting the part that touches the food. Um, but I wanted a darker green, so I'm trying this color of green, and I'm trying black. I want y'all to tell me what you think about that, because I've been hearing that one of the trends this year is a lot of black and white. And you know what's nice about black is that it goes with, I mean, you could put black in your kitchen no matter what color it is, I would think. So, y'all let me know in the comments how you feel about black handles. And I'll show you what I've been doing. Just so you know, we appreciate comments, likes, shares. If you know somebody who likes to paint stuff that they find at thrift stores, we would love it if you would share our videos. I don't have any of the rolling pins that I painted before Christmas because they're all in the shop. Well, the ones that haven't sold are in the shop. I think there's like three or four left. The, the green that I used last time, I thought was a little bit light. So today, um, I'm trying it was and it was crap it was chalk paint so today I'm just using deco art craft paint this is the kind of stuff that you can get at any craft store and it's just in little two ounce bottles and this color is leaf green sorry the camp everything's going to be backwards because Facebook won't let me flip my camera so I just squirt a little out in my plate that's my fancy tool And this paint is a little bit thinner than the chalk paint, so it's taken a couple of coats. What I just showed you, that is two coats. And you can tell, it, you can still see a little bit of the, the wood through it. So I'm just gonna paint it on. This is an easy project, y'all. All I did was clean them. I didn't, well, I sanded this part I did sand some of the handles a little bit because if they're really shiny, the uh, paint, the acrylic doesn't stick quite as well as the um, chalk paint. Chalk paint, you can paint on anything with hardly any prep at all. So that's the green. Um, I'm not sure, it might get a little bit darker when I wax it, but um, I have one over here that's dry that, I don't know if I'm gonna make y'all watch me paint this other side. Cause it's just basically putting another coat over. Here is the one that I did three coats on already. And I really do like that. Um, and I think I'm going to distress it a little bit. My, it's a sanding block, sanding sponge. I just buy them, see it's soft. So it kind of goes around the edges and just kind of knock off some of the paint. See that it works really easy. Just give it a little sanding. See it, it just rubbed off some of the paint, but that's what I want. I want it to look um, aged. I want it to look like an antique, even though this is a relatively new rolling pin. I mean, it's, it's old as in used because I bought it at a thrift store. But it's kind of boring. It needed some color on it. So that's all, I think that's all I'm gonna do and then just kind of wipe it off. I have, I took an old towel and I just cut it up into rags. So, just got some random wear on it. And like I showed you before, I'm gonna use Daddy Vans furniture polish. You can find all these things in my Amazon influencer shop, ducttapeanddenim.com slash Amazon. And there's what it looks like. It's just wax. This one is unscented, but it does, you know, have it like a wax. It smells like wax. That's what it smells like. You can also get it, I think they come in orange and lavender, which really smells good. And then when I wax these, I wax the wood part. I'm gonna get this up close so you can see better. It doesn't, the wax will darken it a little. Can you tell? So I think this color is a little closer to the, the vintage green that I was looking for. 
you know the uh, the color the vintage green color that you see a lot in antique kitchen utensils so what you do you wax it on and then you just buff it off okay that's the one with the wax that's the one without the wax let me hold it up to two different ones at the same time top has wax bottom doesn't and then you just buff the whole thing so here's the black ones what do y'all think i have never seen black handled rolling pins before but when i was doing these this morning i thought you know in that trend report that i heard last week black and white is supposed to be a hot color is that even a color trend color trend i guess you can say, say it's a color trend even though white's well, not technically a color now this one my husband sanded with the rotary sander electric sander because it had been written on in with a sharpie so i don't know why somebody would do that but i guess they thought that was a decoration so this has been freshly sanded and it's really going to soak up the wax and make a big difference can you tell that and this black is deco art chalky finish uh, the color is carbon this is one of my favorite blacks i use this a lot i just painted a whole table in that i painted a, a coffee table a few weeks ago so when i paint when i wax the black chalk paint it's going to get really dark and really pretty what about the black and the green together that kind of is vintagey too so this one is going to soak up a lot of wax so i might put this on and let it sit for a bit a few minutes and then come back and buff it and i'm going to let them sit like 24 hours before I let them touch anything just to just set the wax and it's pretty easy because it's changing so changing the wood color so much I can tell where I've waxed and where I haven't that's kind of nice and the this one is all one um, one piece of wood these don't turn separately I'm not really a rolling pin expert, so I don't know what that's called. <laughs> okay, I waxed that one. That's going to sit there for a bit. And I'm thinking that I am going to distress this one to get, because it has these little ridges there, and I want to get a little more detail out of that. So let's see. Let's see what happens. It doesn't take much pressure at all to distress this paint. So, so there's what that looks like. I kind of like that. Here's the one that, not distressed, distressed. There's black, there's green. Black, distressed, black, not distressed. And then this other one, this big heavy one, it needs one more coat of paint, I think. We appreciate y'all watching liking sharing commenting that is how you can support our small business even without buying anything and we appreciate that thanks for watching we'll see you tomorrow Bye. -bye.